My name is Kent Johansson. Uh, I'm a project manager here at YKI, Institute for Surface Chemistry. One very big project we're working on now is a project called Top Nano. The objective of this project is to try to modify the surfaces of wind turbines, airplane wings, and heat exchangers or heat pumps so that ice will not uh, adhere or grow on these surfaces. We are making progress. We are uh, evaluating many different types of surfaces. We are trying to make new surfaces and also we're trying to learn uh, how this works. I mean, how ice is created on surfaces and um, yeah, try to understand the me me mechanisms of, of these processes. We've got developed a lot of surfaces uh, that we do in, in lab. Labscape, but now we have also prepared some samples that will be placed up in a, like, a, like a wind turbine. And they will stay there over the winter. So then we will evaluate and see how, how it works. The main challenge is to make a surface that is, will also be stable, robust. Because, you know, when you place a surface out in the atmosphere, you have sunshine, you have rain, you have a lot of dust, insects, a lot of attacks on these surfaces. So... So the surface has to be very durable, and that is the main challenge, to make such a surface that will last. I mean, initially they are very good, but we have to make them also last for a long time. So this is our, uh, what we call plasma reactors. And this is here where we um, do a lot of surface modification. So here we can actually deposit thin coatings on our materials. So one, one example is, for instance, you can make these super hydrophobic surfaces. You place your sample in here, and you evacuate and you introduce a gas and then you give energy to this gas and then the gas will uh, transform into a plasma. By introducing the right gas, you can actually deposit a thin coating on your substrate and this coating will give a super hydrophobic character. 